in the working with the sketcher let us uh, have a look at the profiles we have these are the predefined profiles which uh, we can use anytime required and uh, whenever we will be creating these profiles make sure you have these three tools from visualization toolbar and these two tools from uh, sketch tools toolbar are on so that uh, it will be easy for you to make your sketch as fully constrained which is we call it as to be ready to be converted into 3d we'll see the profile tool i'll select it as soon as i select the tool you can see the sketch tools toolbar actually expands say first uh, option is selected as line i'll click on this and i'll be able to create the lines in the continuation to line if i want to create tangent arc then i'll just click on that and uh, i will be able to create the tangent arc you can see over here this is the tangent is tangency symbol we have in the green color if i want to create a three point arc in the continuation then i can go for three point arc one point uh, is already selected i'll define the second point i'll define the third point i'll be able to create that as well again line yes i can continue with the line and uh, to exit from the profile tool i can press X escape key so from the tool i can uh, create different kind of profiles i can create lines i can create tangent curves i can create three point arc as well there are some constraints we can see over here like this one is uh, one of the constraint at selected this is the coincidence constraint so this particular point the start point of your uh, line is actually coincided with the horizontal axis another constraint is uh, this one this is your tangency constraint two parallel lines are shown so this line and this particular curve is actually tangent similarly over here there is a tangency again these are the geometrical constraint which are applicable while creating due to these two options from the sketch tools toolbar next we have rectangle again in rectangle we have some sub toolbar available so you can see predefined profiles with the rectangle i can create the rectangle I'll select it just define two points so you will be able to create a rectangle over here we have oriented rectangle i can orient my rectangle at any particular length uh, angle sorry like this and this uh, this line and this line will be perpendicular sorry parallel this line and this line will also be parallel and these two lines will be perpendicular so this perpendicularity this parallelism these two are also geometrical constraints next next is parallelogram so select it and you will be able to create the parallelogram like this or like this you can orient it in any manner you want to see this is how i will be able to manage it now when i want to move my objects which i had created then i'll use the pan option from the view toolbar i'll select it and i can directly shift them is using mouse uh, as well we can do this uh, i'll be telling you the mouse operations as well okay so for now i'll be using this for zoom in if i want to zoom in to particular area then i can use zoom in i can use zoom out as well and there is an option available for fit all in whatever i have created it will be uh, zoomed out and uh, will be fitted in the window next we have elongated hole select this and just focus on the command bar what exactly it is saying it is saying define the center of center to center distance so this will be the first point this will be the second point and this is how i am able to create now you can see over here along with the geometrical constraint horizontal and tangency we are also getting the dimensional constraint this is the dimension or i'll say the radius of this curve this dimensional constraints i am getting because of 
the dimensional constraint option on in sketch tools okay so it is important that we keep both the options as on so that whatever the profiles we create number of uh, dimensional as well as geometrical constraints which are by default applicable those constraints will automatically be applied on the sketches we don't need to separately apply them again next tool we have cylindrical elongated hole i'll select it it is asking me to define the center to center arc so say i'll consider this one as a center then it is asking me to define the start point of uh, the cylindrical elongated hole so i'll consider somewhere here end point somewhere here and this is how i will be able to create it now in this also i'm getting one extra constraints that is your dimensional constraint which i can modify whenever i want i just have to double click on that and i will be able to give the values we have keyhole profile define the first point then define the second point and then uh, radius is to both the shapes you will be able to create it you can see i'm again getting some of the dimensional constraints along with geometrical constraints next we have polygon select it define the center point and you will be able to create the polygon now uh, check this uh, whatever i am creating over here i am not defining the values over here if you want to give the values to these things say i have created a rectangle i want to give uh, length and width or i want to give the coordinates to the points so i can use sketch tools toolbar any time i want to either i will use uh, mouse for uh, selecting the points or i will use the sketch tools toolbar which will expand whenever you select any tool that uh, will give you the feasibility to enter the values required if you will enter the value you will be able to get the final result or you can uh, click using mouse it's better to click using mouse uh, because it allows us to modify the same thing again whenever we will define the constraints dimensional or geometrical yes we can modify we can just double click on the value and uh, we will be able to change it in the continuation to predefined profiles we have centered uh, rectangle i'll just select it it will define the center first and then i'll be able to create the rectangle now over here there is a new symbol we have the symbol is of equidistance or i'll say the symmetricity this particular line and this particular line is actually symmetric to the center this is what the symbol is actually indicating we have centered parallelogram as well you just have to select a particular point and after that you will be able to create it in the continuation we have different types of circles or i'll say different ways of creating the circle circle i just have created if you want to define the radius value then you can go over here and define the radius value say over here i'll define as 100 i have defined three point circle i want a circle to be passed from three points say i'll create a profile first this is what my profile is i want my circle to be passed from these three points so i'll go for three point circle first point second point third point like this i'll be able to create it easily my circle is passing through all three points it is actually coincided on these three points circle using the coordinates you just have to define the cartesian or polar coordinate of center point as well as you just have to define the radius value it will be created you can see it is being try tangent circle a circle which i want to be tangent to three lines or three objects just select the objects first object second object third object i am able to get it and you can see it is tangent to all three objects i had selected three point arc just define three points 1 2 3 i am able to create the arc i don't have to define the radius value center point etc 
later on when i'll go for the constraints i will be able to change it another option for arc is three point arc starting with limits in this case we will be defining start point end point and then middle point so start point end point and somewhere here the middle point will be like this i'll be able to define it arc in this i'll be defining the center point first so say this one is the center point of the arc and say arc is starting from this point going till this point i can define it in this manner i'll be able to create it very easily then we have a spline you just have to define the points it will create a curve passing through the points it will be again a smooth curve so you can see the spline is created with the spline we have a connect curve select it define the points which you want to connect say i want to connect these two points you can see these two points are connected further definition you can define over here how much tension you want on the ends and all you can define it from the sketch tools toolbar you will be able to get the result i recommend you to practice these profiles i recommend you to practice the sketcher as much as you can because uh, we will be continuing with the sketcher till the last wherever we will be thinking of creating something yes we have to go for the sketches continuing we have ellipse select this first point which will be the center point now define the major axis define the minor axis this is what we have to do lines we have different types of we have some points available which we will be creating just to create the profile this was all about the profile toolbar